Hello friends, happy Monday. We are here to paint. Oh, it all slid on me. Anyways, let me get rid of some of this stuff. We're here to paint this door hanger today for Valentine's Day. It says your owl, owl I need. And it's got this cute little 3D owl. We've got all these little heart pieces still here. They're all 3D pieces. Anyways, this is the hanger that we are going to paint today. It comes with the holes already in the top for you to hang it. And I'm going to go ahead and tip you guys down. We're going to go ahead and get started. Did you guys see what I did to do my, what I did to my paints? I put them all in honey bears. Aren't those so cute? All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do, so I have limited colors now because of what I did here. I didn't, um, look, they're all in honey bears. All my colors. So I don't have a bunch of colors anymore. I have 20 colors, I believe, um, is what I ended up with, but plenty enough. Um, all right. So I'm going to get some red and some pinks and white on my palette here. Hello, Aunt Tam. Hello, Rachel. These actually squirt out really nice. So, I like that. This one doesn't want to come out, though. Hold on a minute. There we go. Just had to shake it up a little bit. Hello, Vicky. Hi, Jackie. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Anyways, again, if you weren't on here, I put all of my paints into these cute little squeezable honey bears. I'll link them in my Amazon uh, links later. Actually, I noticed that that's not working at all, so I have to I have to fix that, and then I'll get those linked. Um, anyway, so this says your owl I need. We got this cute little owl. I'm then gonna do an, a pink background. So let's start with that. And I'm gonna do the light pink for my background. Hey, hey. Ooh, I might want white on there first. And actually I could do, I should do, not could do, my sponge to make this go quicker. Sorry, it's kind of scratchy sounding, huh? Um, so I'm gonna go over it with white first, then I'm gonna come back here and do my pink over it. I'm gonna need a lot more than I have here that I got out so far because I was planning on, I don't know what I was planning on. But I definitely didn't get enough paint out, but I'm saying. So can I add some more of that? This is just a large sponge that I cut into smaller pieces um, to paint with. I need to update my credit card. Uh, Rachel, I can send you, you can, if you have a login for the website, you can just log on and do it that way. But if you don't remember that, I can email you a link later. Um, if you'll send me, just send me a message on here so that I don't forget. I should see this one, but just in case, just send me a message and I'll get that sent to you. All right, so there we go. Got our first layer of white and then I'm gonna go back into my light pink because that's what I want my background to be. And then I'm gonna go do that for the second layer or second coat, whatever you wanna call it, of paint. I kinda like the way this is looking. Just like this, I don't know if I'll do another layer. I probably will end up doing another one, but we'll see. So Monday is my late, one of my late nights for work. So I just got down here not too long ago and the kitties are so excited to snuggle. I snuggled with them for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Now they're behind me. I can hear them jumping around in their cage. Hello, Debbie. All right, I'm just gonna cover I don't care that it gets on that bottom part there of the branch because that's gonna be, oops, it's gonna be 3D anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Hi, mom. Um, I probably will go over this again with another coat. Just a second. I'm gonna put some white on there again too. I kind of like the way that it makes it look a little bit like cloudy behind it. And our owl's gonna take up a lot of the space. So it'll kind of make it look like pink clouds behind our owl. Here 
here we go. So I'm just gonna clean up my edges here. One on the side a little bit. Oh well. Hi Karen. All right, I like that color. So it's just a nice light pink. Again, I use the sponge, the big sponge um, to do that. And then, so we'll have our owl who's gonna take up a big portion. We've got our little tree branch here at the bottom, our letters. Uh, let me see here. So since I got rid of colors, let me see. I got, I think this one's nutmeg brown. And I'll probably use this color. This will be for my owl. And, hmm. All right. Okay. So we have all these hearts. The belly is full of hearts. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint this real quick. And I like to use my little sponges for the majority of my project. I haven't used these yet, so it takes a minute to get the air out of the top of them. So again, my honey bears, I put my paint in all the honey bears um, for those of you who are just hopping on. Didn't have a reason other than it was cute. I'm actually thinking about including some honey bears as uh, in the first kit when you join the paint club. So that's something that I'm working on right now. And obviously my current members would get that as well. Fix this a little bit. It's kind of clumpy on the edge where it's still drying. Okay, so then we got this little branch that'll go down here. Hi, Ramona. Um, I'm gonna put all my letters over here. And then my hearts over here. Just kind of um, separating my pieces for a second. Got his little paws. All right. So I'm gonna kind of lay them out and just see what colors I'm thinking because I honestly have no idea. I wasn't thinking. Well, I was thinking. I wanted to condense my colors. I had too many. So honestly, everything went into these bottles and I can make my own colors out of them by mixing if I want to, which I might just mix some white in with this to make it a little bit lighter. And then I also have this like skin color. I think it was toasted marshmallow in here um, that I can use to kind of make different colors on here. So I'm thinking darker, lighter, maybe darker for the feet, darker around the eyes, and then his little eyes. And we're gonna have pink hearts. Okay, I gotta get some of this paint down to the bottom. It's the only thing I can see maybe being a problem is when they start to get low. So I'm gonna tip that upside down a minute and let that start to flow. Um, and in the meantime, let's do the same color. I'm gonna do this in the same color as wings that I did the branch and I'll darken up his feet in a minute. This kit is our kit of the week too, by the way. It's on sale for 20% off this week only. That sale ends at midnight on Sunday night. And each week as I go live, I'll pop up the new kit for you guys. Um, so that's this week through, what's the date next week? The 21st, I believe. So this one will be on sale through the 21st. I think I put the link in the description so you guys can click on that and find it easy. And this kit actually matches our tier, or not our tier tray, it is a tier tray, our paint club kit this month, which is a tier tray, like I just said. Um, so if you're in the paint club, the kit would coordinate with this. So if you're not in the paint club and you want a coordinated tier tray kit, um, you can sign up for that. It's not too late for this month's kit. We'll be painting that live together in our private group. Uh, the last Sunday of the month. So if you order it now, you probably still have time, I would think, to get it delivered before then. I'm pretty quick with my shipping. Well, with my cutting, once I ship it, I'm I'm no longer in charge of how long it takes. Hi, Pam. Hi, Ashley. Um, but I do get it out pretty quick. And then as long as the shipping takes, that depends on the carrier, which I usually use UPS, and they're usually pretty quick, but 
I can't control how fast it gets to you once it leaves. Once it leaves me. So I'm going to do white, obviously, for his eyes. And then I got these little pieces. I think I might make him have blue eyes, like a pop of blue. And I think I'll do this part up here in the darker color, too. So let me take it off of here, though, so I don't accidentally get any on my pink background. For those of you who are ready, I do have, <laughs> it's cute, isn't it? I do have some uh, St. Patrick's and Easter stuff up on the website. I do have some more Easter to go, but hoping to get that up in the next week or so. We won't start painting that until we get closer to time, but they're up. So you guys could get them ahead of time if you wanted to. And then you might be able to paint live with me if you have the project of the week. All right, I'm going to get out some white. or half white, I'm just gonna paint it white, I should say. Just gonna do this for the background of his eyes. This one would be super cute with some like red and pink, white. Uh, what am I saying? I can't think, not buttons, beads. A beaded hanger would be super cute. Hi, Lynn. Hello, Jean. So these will probably give another coat, make them nice and bright, but just so you guys can kind of see it come into life as we go along, I'm going to go ahead and get out this blue. So a nice, bright, fun blue. Again, I haven't used it yet, so i got to get the air out of the top. And I'm going to do that for his eyes. I'm just going to use this tiny baby sponge because I don't need a whole lot. It's not hard to work with. I'm just going to hit it with a second coat real quick. These, like I said, I'm gonna mix some of this brown, this nutmeg brown with a little tiny, tiny dot of black in it to make it a little bit darker. And I'm gonna do a little pause in that darker color. Probably got way too much in there. I didn't mean to do that. Let me mix it with my brush. So yes, I did this this weekend. I ordered the honey bears. They came off at Amazon. I can get you guys a link for them. And I just thought it would be cute, a cute way to store my paints. And I had way too many colors and wanted to condense them anyways. So see what I did there? I just created like a chocolate brown by mixing that lighter brown with my black. Just a tiny bit of black will do it. Otherwise it'll be too dark. Um, anyways, so yeah, I condensed them and made it super cute. I like cute stuff. Hello, Donna. All right. So again, just darker little feet by adding some black into that same color brown that we used for the background. I'm gonna move those out of the way. I'm gonna do another coat of white on these and then I'm gonna paint this part. the tummy and then hi Diane all right so to do the tummy I am going to pull it off so that I don't get any paint on my background again I'm going to move this off to the side a second and let's grab another sponge And for this one, I'm using this light color. If I can 
gonna get any out of here. There we go. Just took a second. So this bear's gonna be upside down because he's not got very much paint left in him. I'm just gonna kind of pounce it on like I usually do, but I think I'm gonna do it this way and then I can go back through and do another coat with it that way to kind of thicken it up. And it doesn't matter that I go over my lines because we're gonna have the 3D elements on top, so you're not gonna see any of that sloppiness. I used to be really particular and paint all my little spots where they, you know, like all around here. You don't have to do that. Hello, Melissa. Now I don't worry about it so much. I just kind of throw on the paint. As long as what shows looks good, that's all that matters. I'm just kind of making it a little bit thicker, like I said, pouncing it on, and then we'll let it dry. And we'll start working on the little hearts that go on the belly. All right, there's that. So, if you guys want to see it come into life. Obviously, we don't have our background on here right now, but you can see him coming to life. Look at how stinking cute. And then he's gonna have these blue, bright blue eyes. And we'll stick a dab of other colors in the eyes in a second. All these I'm gonna do in pink. I'm gonna do those in the dark pink. I have a bunch of them. Let me see here. Give me one second, friends. I don't usually do this but we have quite a few of them, so I'm going to this time. So I just have some froggy tape. Oops. Look at me making a mess of it. Hi, Patricia. I'm gonna just go like this and lay it down like so. It's kind of crinkling, and I'm gonna try to line these all up, see if they'll all fit on here to make it easier to paint them. Usually I just hold on to them. But since there's so many of the same size, I thought I'd try this trick and show you something new if you haven't seen anybody else do this before. So there you go, they're all there. And I'll go ahead and grab another sponge for this color, which I'm gonna do a more of a magenta, so a darker pink. So this way, they get held down by the tape and not my finger. If it's just one little thing, like I see people line up all their stuff and do this for all their pieces, I don't do that. I usually just hold it, but because there's so many, I did it this way. I am also going to go ahead and, you know what? I'm gonna wait on this because I might alter those a little bit. And let's just let this sit just a quick second and then I'll hit it with a second coat. that. Let it sit there and I'm going to go ahead and start gluing some stuff down. So we're going to glue down our little branch that our owl's going to sit on. I guess I could have started with my owl too, either way, whatever. And then we're going to get our little owl glued down and mostly just go around the edges i'll hit it in the center a second here too not too much glue and it's got the etch etching on it so you know right where to set your piece that makes it easy er at least easier There's little glasses on. Actually, I could have done those in a cute color. I didn't think about that. I should have done those in a cute color. <sighs> should I change it? Should I make those bright pink? Because it's, it's like glasses, not just an eyeball. It could have done... I'm going to do that, I think. See if I can do it without making a huge, terrible mess. 
why I didn't think about it when I first put this on here, I don't know. But as I'm laying it out, I'm thinking, wait a minute, we can make that even cuter. So I'm just being careful that I don't go over my edge into the brown paint. Doesn't really matter if it goes in here because we're gonna cover that in a second with the 3D piece for the internal part of the eyes. But I don't wanna get it on the outside. The thing is now because this had brown underneath it, it's gonna be slightly different colored than the hearts, but that's all right. There we go. Hi, Susan. I don't know, hopefully it's still cute like that. I think it'll be cute. I didn't think about it until, like I said, just when I went to lay those down, but. wings on. I'm going to wait a minute to do the eyes just because I just did that part and I don't want to smear anything or get any pink on the white parts of my eyes. But what I can do is glue down these blue eyeballs in the meantime. off to the side and these should be those are almost dry I'm gonna stick his feet on because those are dry and then we have to decide if we want to do white letters which I have an idea or if we want to do pink letters for our background and we also have to figure out our hearts in a second here these hearts what I was thinking was maybe doing like pink the darker pink and then white and then like alternating them so that the hearts are different. Why do I have, oh, cause I didn't lie down yet. I think we might do that. That's almost dry. We're gonna give it just a second longer. Let's start dabbing the glue on these things. I wanna make sure there's just a tiny amount. I don't want it to be a thick amount of glue. So once I see it barely start to squeeze out, I'm pull it away. I just want it to be a super thin amount of glue. This frog tape is awesome because it's not super sticky. Sometimes when I package um, orders, if there's like a hole in the bubble wrap, I'll use this because it does not hurt your wood at all if it gets on there. You just peel it right up. It's sticky enough to do what it needs to, but not too sticky that it ruins anything. So now I'm done with that. Hi, Sandy. Um, and now I think I can stick the eyes in here. So I'm just gonna Hit this with some more glue. They're stinking cute. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do red here on these ones, white on these ones. Let me know what you think for the lettering. Should we use this color? Oh, where did my nose go? I forgot about my nose. We'll have to do that in a second. He's got a 3D nose too, so we'll cover up that part in a second. Um, so let me know, white or the pink for our letters or we could do red because like I said I am gonna oh I've already got red out I'm gonna do red for um, one of these hearts or I could do them like a mixed mix of both of them too Do that one in red. I'm gonna do this little one in red, and I'm gonna do the opposite with white. Oh, here it goes. I 
I'll do another layer of the white to make it nice and bright. That way you can kind of see. Anybody have a suggestion as far as the lettering, if we want it to be done in white or red or the dark pink? I think this is going to be all we're going to do. I don't think we're going to do a whole lot of detailing on this one just because I feel like it's super cute without it and I don't want to overwhelm the project by adding on a bunch of details. Usually I do like polka dots and stuff on things, but what I'm going to do for these hearts because they're bigger and I should have done for the eyes too. I'm going to add some more dark pink. All right. Dark pink it is. I'm going to add some more of this thicker white paint to finish these hearts. Oh shoot. I stuck it in cream. That ain't going to work now. There we go. So just doing the second coat and that thicker white. I got hair on this thing. Darn it. There we go. That's the one thing I didn't do when I put everything into these little containers. I didn't put the thicker white like I normally do. I just used regular craft paint in there. Um, I don't know that the thicker paint would work very good in those. Like I keep putting fingerprints on it, so I keep doing it over and over again. All right, so dark pink is what I was told to do. And what I'm kind of wondering now is if I should do ombre with dark pink and white. So we're gonna try it, maybe. I do need to grab some orange real quick for his little beak. Get that done. And then I'll do the other part. I guess his beak didn't have to be orange. That's just the color I chose to do. And I think I had white mixed on here, so it's kind of light. I kind of like that though. It's not, it doesn't stick out too, too much that way. There we go. I think he's so cute. All right. I'm gonna set this off to the side. Actually, I'm not gonna do that, I lied to you guys. I'm gonna glue these down first. I forgot I didn't glue them down. Then I'm gonna set it off to the side, let it dry, and work on the writing. And then we'll come back and finish it in a second. I did do his nose, I think. I think, I hope. All right. So for this, I'm gonna lay this back down here just because I already got it out. And I'm gonna kind of, wait. I think that's it, your. I am going to grab my sponge here and do my darker pink all the way across the top half of it. And then I'm gonna go into my white and see if it works. We're gonna see if it works. I'm just gonna do the bottom part in white. Oops, that one went up too far, but that's all right, because you have to kind of go back and forth to get your ombre look. Get some more pink on here again. We're gonna bring that down a little bit lower, kind of blend it out. You guys like that? I think I kind of like it. I'm gonna lay it out and see what it looks like on here. And then we'll continue on if we like it. You guys like it? I think I like it. I think it's gonna make it pop more. So we're gonna do that. 
for the rest of them as well and then I'll glue it on. Your all owl I need. So again, we're gonna start with the dark pink and go about halfway. And we'll go back into our white and go up. And then we go back down with the pink to blend it. I just want to kind of back up into it a little bit. I feel like that one kind of was a stark line and I didn't want it that way. And then our last word here is need. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I like to start at the top, and go up into the middle and then work. You can go back and forth as many times as you need to to get the color that you want. But this is how I at least started out. I'm getting some of that pink in my white so the bottom of it might not look exactly as bright as the other ones do but it'll work so we're gonna go ahead and glue these down and for the letters I try to do it right onto the board because they're I don't know I find myself gluing my fingers to it easier on the, on the letters camera I don't even know where I'm at okay you guys can still see me So if you're just hopping on or you hopped on late, this is the kit of the week. It is 20% off through Sunday, the 21st. No code needed. Just go on there and it'll automatically discount that for you. Look that slid a little bit. Look how stinking cute it is. I'm still kind of wondering now if I should put some dots on these, but they are really tiny. So I also am thinking maybe I should leave them alone so I don't mess that up. Um, let's go into, I'm going to do a black dot on their eye and a white dot on their eye. So just a tiny dab of black here. And I think I still have enough white. We'll see. Maybe I don't. Let me grab just a tad bit more. So I'm going to use the back of my paintbrush and I'm going to do this in black the, d the bigger dot and there's kind of a, a thing on here etched in so I'm just kind of following that trying to fill it and then I'm gonna clean off my brush because I'm done with that one and then I'm gonna go to a smaller one use the back side of it and I'm gonna do white and this is just kind of gonna give it, it just looks like mm, I don't know like the reflection, I guess. Just makes it look more three-dimensional, more realistic. But I really think that's gonna be all I'm gonna do for um, details. I don't think I'm gonna do anything more. You guys like it? Thank you, Tamara. Hello, Jeannie. Sometimes, like I said, I do like some outlines around the lettering or add some polka dots here and there and different things, but I think this one is fine on its own. I think it looks super cool. I love the way it turned out. Uh, I am thinking that we're done with it. I'm just trying to clean up my mess a little bit here. And then if you guys are new to, I put all of my paint 
into cute little honey bears. Isn't that adorable? I'll get those honey bears linked for you guys too um, in the next couple of days. So if you want to get honey bears and do that with your paints, you can. Um, but I think that's it for tonight. So 20% off on this one through Sunday at midnight. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And there we are. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Have a good week.